You know that device in your pocket is not just a phone anymore. It's the command center for a massive, multi-trillion dollar economy. In this explainer, we're going to take a journey through the absolute gold rush of the app market, all the way from 2017 to a pretty staggering prediction for 2029. So just for a second, think about your own phone. What's the one app category you use the most? Well, the answer to that question has changed a lot over the years. So let's do a little time travel, shall we? We're going to go from 2017 all the way to 2029 to see how this market really, truly exploded. All right, let's fire up the time machine. First stop, 2017. This year really sets the baseline for the incredible growth that was just around the corner. So even way back in 2017, people were already spending hundreds of billions of dollars on apps. And that sounds like a huge number, right? But honestly, that was just the warm-up act. It was nothing compared to the main event that was coming. And in 2017, the market was really run by just two heavyweights, games and entertainment. I mean, think about it. This was peak Angry Birds, peak Candy Crush, and we were all just starting to get into streaming services on our phones. These two categories were the undisputed kings of the App Store, no question. Okay, next up, let's jump forward to the post-2020 explosion. This, this is when the whole market just shifted into hyperdrive. Our phones suddenly became totally central to how we did everything. How we lived, how we worked, how we played. You can just see it right here. There was steady growth leading up to 2020. And then, boom, the numbers just rocketed upwards. This was the turning point. The pivotal moment when mobile ops became this absolutely essential piece of the global economy. So with all of this insane growth, who are the key players winning the app race today? Because let me tell you, the landscape is way more competitive now than it was back in 2017. So if you look at the market right now, you can see that games are still the heavyweight champion. They've got the biggest piece of the pie for sure. But look at all the other contenders, shopping, health and fitness, finance. They have all carved out these massive segments for themselves. The market has totally diversified. But here's the thing, being the biggest isn't the whole story. The real action is in the growth. I mean, things like wearables and the big global push to digital banking have lit a fire under health and finance apps. They're expanding at a crazy rate. People are managing their workouts and their wealth right from their pockets, and that trend is just skyrocketing. Now, for our final stop on this journey, the future. Let's take a look ahead to 2029, where the projections for the app market are, to be honest, kind of staggering. So we've gone from the start in 2017, through the explosion that's happening today. Now, Let's take that final leap into 2029. Get ready for this number. By 2029, the total app market is projected to be worth $3.5 trillion. Just let that sink in for a second. That's a number so massive it's hard to even comprehend, and it's proof that this gold rush is far, far from over. So what's going to drive that massive growth? Well, games are still going to be a huge pillar, no doubt. But the biggest leaps forward? They're going to come from the apps that are just woven into the fabric of our daily lives, how we shop, how we manage our health, and our overall lifestyle. You know, a single quote from the source material just sums this all up perfectly. The future is mobile and it's massive. This isn't just another tech trend. It's a fundamental shift in how the entire world operates, and the scale is just almost unimaginable. Which, of course, leaves us with one final, really fascinating question. When you look at these trends, from the continued dominance of games to the meteoric rise of health and finance, where is the next big opportunity? What is going to be the next billion-dollar app? That, right there, is the question on every single developer's and investor's mind.